What's going on everybody? This is Al from NCAA 06 Revival and today I want to talk about a run concept that I use all the time in some of my various shotgun formation offenses and that is the QB choice. It's an option play but you can treat it as a power play and it's just very effective and if you run any type of shotgun oriented offense and you run the ball at least a little bit I suggest you treat this as your foundational run play. So I want to go over the concept from various formations. I want to run from the wide trips, trips over, spread, and shotgun trips. You've, if you have these formations in your playbook and you like to run the ball out of the gun, but you got to run QB choice. And this is what I'm going to show you. So let's just start with the shotgun wide trips. We'll click QB choice. We'll just go up against nickel, and that's what you'll normally go up against from wide trips. We'll just do random formation. And when it comes to the play, it doesn't really matter where you're running from as far as which hash. I mean, it's effective all over the field. But for this sake, we'll just start on the right hash. just gives us a little more room to work with. Uh, so much grass on the left side. With this play, once you snap the ball, you have the option to give to your running back or keep it. And that simply means just holding the X button or I think it's A on the Xbox control I'm not really sure but if you hold the the X button you will give it to your running back now nine times out of ten I always give it to my running back I will show you a couple instances where you might have to keep it with your quarterback the only thing you really need to know here is that your right tackle in this case, I didn't flip the play, so in its initial setup, the right tackle will pull for you. If you stay behind him and let him block his initial man, you should be able to make decent yardage. The only other thing you need to know is to not abuse the speed button. You have to let your linemen make their blocks do their jobs. So let's uh, run the play a few times here and see what we can find. When it comes to reading the defense, the only thing you really need to pay attention is to the defensive line. If they spread out or fan out, then you might make, need to make an adjustment, and I'll show you that when that happens. But in this case, they didn't shift or anything, so we'll just run the play as normal. We're going to snap the ball. And then pick up button, much of nothing there. Let's just go to instant replay. Our linemen pulled, but they blitz really hard. And I just didn't have much of a chance there. It's, it happens. It's like with any other run play. So let's go. Okay, snap the ball. You saw the defensive line shift to our right, so we should have a little extra room when we go to the left. I'm not using the speed button. Pick up a nice four-yard gain. Notice here, I didn't use the speed button. I left my tackle. Do his job. Cut up field. Pick up a few yards. Now, you can't flip this the run play. I wish I could be able to just hit triangle and hit direct, directional right where I can go to the right. It's naturally meant to go to the left, but this play works really well in that you can cut up field in between the tackles. You can go outside. You just have to read the movement of all of the defense and your lineman blocking. So it's a natural feel, and it takes a little bit of practice. Okay, let's run the play again. Nobody shifted, so we'll just run the play as usual. Snap the ball. Let our lineman make a block. Pick up a nice seven yards. It was a good, terrible fumble right there. Okay, let's run it again. All right, the line shifted to our right, so we should be able to get even a little extra yardage as long as our lineman block. Let's snap the ball. Let's see... Okay. Picked up a decent gain there. Let's go to instant replay on this one. I didn't use the speed button. I just let my lineman get in front of me. Sometimes he'll block that linebacker that just got off his uh, block. But you can tell he's going for that safety. If I was able to outrun him, number 19, Without having to use a speed button, 69 would be able to pick up the free safety, and I could have made a, even more gains. Anyway, it was good, good yardage. Let's go back to practice mode. Let's just run the play as usual. 
let him run and do his box. Pick up a really good game. Just run it as usual. Again, there's not much to this play. You just have to read and react. Another six yard gain. Notice there, I went between the tackles. Sometimes you have to. And what's funny is with the QB choice, you would normally think that it's meant to go outside and it's super hard to go in between the tackles, but you'll see some gaping holes sometimes. And it's weird that you'll see more holes between the tackles out of a gun run play than from under center. But Okay, let's run it again. Okay, everybody shifted to the right. We should be able to get really good yardage. Now, I'm going to keep it with my quarterback. What I like to do, if I want to keep it with my quarterback, is I, if you notice the play, or the play art, the quarterback is technically meant to go to the right, while the running back is supposed to go to the left. But I actually like to do it the opposite. I like to follow my running back, treat him as a lead blocker. And as long as your linemen do their job at, at the line, you can make some serious gains with a quarterback, especially if he's got uh, decent wheels. So I'm going to keep with my quarterback and see what happens. I think that was a – let me just check something real quick. Yeah, Seth Russell's got 78 speed. That's just a good play by the defense, though. Okay, the defensive line fanned out. In this case, from shock and white trips, I like to motion the tight end to the left. If you don't, let's just go back. Let's not do that. Let's run the play as usual, and let me show you why I like to motion the tight end over. Normally, the defensive end on the left side is really good about getting to your running back regardless. So let's just run the play. See what happens there, the end. He just swarms it. So let's see if we come across. Okay, the defensive line is just going to stay, so let's just run the play as usual. Picked up a few yards. Run it again. Not much there. Run it again. Oh, and by the way, the defense... Is pretty talented for Texas. So, there we go. We're getting a decent little gain here. Again, a lot of it's just blocking by the line. If they do their job, then you can make some serious gains. Okay, let's run the play. Notice. Oh, nice. Six points. This is a perfect example of why I don't use the speed button a lot. Let's go back to instant replay. Snap the ball. Okay, I'm not using the speed button. I got my right tackle in front of me ready to knock somebody down. And during this entire play, I did not use the speed button until right there. Go back. If you don't use the speed button, your running back has a better chance of breaking tackles, spinning juke, whatever. So that's like rule number one with a lot of my run plays. Just don't abuse the speed button. Let's okay. Let's run it one more time before we use the other formations. Just juking. I did not use the speed button. He did fumble. That didn't help. Okay. Let's go do it out of shotgun trips over. Play QB choice. Let's go up against the nickel. Now, my tight end is already on that side, so regardless if the uh, linemen's fan out or anything, it doesn't really matter. You just run the play as usual and hope for good blocking. So let's run the play a few times. I'm going to snap the ball. Don't use the speed button. Let your lineman do his thing. Pick up a nice 20 yards. Okay, let's run it again. That was a good play by the defense. There we go. Yeah, if you let your lineman block, especially your pull and guard, your tackle, then you can use the speed button afterwards. Okay. 
Run the play. Good block by all my linemen. Look at that. Can't beat that. Six points. Let's go to instant replay. Look at that. Pull and tackle. Makes an excellent block. My tight end makes a good block. Over here. And all I have left is my left tackle getting ready to destroy that free safety. Just let him make his block and then you're off to the races. Trying it again. Again, I'm not even paying attention if it's man or zone. It's like I said, it doesn't really matter. You just you have to follow your blocks anyways. Another six points. Just the way this formation is set up, you can run this play very effectively out of trips over. Now they're in zone. You can see the there's a left corner over there, but I'm still going to just run my play as usual. Just follow your blocks. Didn't pick up much there. Okay, they fanned out. You shouldn't have to do much of anything here. Just run your play as usual and don't use the speed button. Bounce off your linemen, wait for their blocks, and try to make a play. Let's run it again. Pick up an excellent gain. Okay, let's run it one more time. And if you notice, here's another thing. Okay, our right tackle, he's the one that's been pulling for us. If we go to our roster, you see his speed is a 72, Pat Colbert. It doesn't really matter the speed of your lineman. You'd like to think you'd want a really fast lineman to pull for you so you can get up the field. The problem is with this game is that you're not going to find fast linemen on the recruiting trail. The good thing is you don't need them. I've used this play with a, a lineman who's got a speed of 59. It doesn't make a difference. If you got a really slow lineman, you might actually end up running the ball between the tackles a lot more because he's good at picking up any inside uh, gaps that a defensive lineman might come through. So don't feel like you are missing out on anything if you don't get a fast uh, pulling lineman. Run this one last time. Picked up a really good gain. Didn't use the speed button. Okay. Let's quickly do it out of the spread here. Well, let's stick in the nickel. Let's make it a little bit harder on us. You'll see some nickel against your uh, shotgun spread. Okay. Don't need to really know anything here. Now, you don't have a tight end to motion if you need to. If they fan out, you just run the play like usual. Picked up a nice five-yard gain. Run it again. Now they've fanned out. Let's hope for the best here. Just bad play there. Just, they fanned out. There's not much you can do. Normally, when you have a six-man box, you got four linemen and two linebackers, you normally would audible to a pass play or something. But sometimes you can make good gains like this against a six-man box, and it won't make a difference. Let's run it again. Look at that. Can't beat that. Now let's do it out of the shotgun trips. QB choice. We can do that. A nickel. Everybody's kind of shifting to the right, so we should pretty get a decent gain as long as my linemen do their job. Just let him get in front of him and just pick up a nice 18 yard gain. Let's run it again. Up a good play here. I'm going to put on the left hash. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. You have a little less field to work with, but you can still pick up good yardage, regardless of where the ball is placed. I just like to see a pulling lineman in front of me. I mean, having somebody in front of you that can destroy somebody, bounce off his back, make big plays. There's a reason why a lot of schools use this play. Run it one more time. And one more time. Let's end on a, on a high note here. Picked up some good yards there. 17 yards. All right, fellas. The QB choice. 
I highly recommend it, especially if you are in the shotgun a whole lot. You can take the QB choice. You can complement it with another run concept out of the gun, which is the speed option, if you got a decent running quarterback. Or if you are a pro-style guy or you don't like to use a running quarterback, complement the QB choice with the play-action plays. There's plenty of them in there. You combine the QB choice with your play actions. Bada bing, bada boom, you have the Baylor offense. You go on YouTube and watch any of their videos. They run this QB choice over and over and over again until they bring an extra man in the box and then they chuck it deep. It's very doable in it's a 6 But regardless of the type of offense, if you're in the shotgun, use the QB choice. You don't need a running quarterback. You just need a lineman who can do their jobs. All right, fellas, hopefully this was helpful. Use it, abuse it, have fun with it. Talk to you later.